welcome back to episode 11 of Finn Plays Dubs the Zombie. Um, in the last episode, we are running through cornfields. This episode, still running through cornfields, but I think we're going to leave the cornfields this episode. I'm just heading back to hear the country. So you guys listen to it. Uh, this is also, uh, this level features the first and perhaps only uh, appearance of the Impala, not to be confused with a similarly named automobile, which probably has some sort of trademark on it. I'm sure they wouldn't mind. <laughs> I think we're safe. Yeah, this... Uh, I know everyone is, once they, they drive the tractor, they think, why can't we have a tractor-on-tractor -tractor duel? And the answer is that it isn't, we tried that, and it wasn't really very fun. It's just more fun to stick people. Yeah. With the skewering and such. Yes. It's kind of cool to find that. I didn't expect to be another one I'll find. There's probably more on this level, I just haven't actually found it. I decided to use my head to bowl out those people. Save a lot of time. Um, yeah, this is when we start to see that chainsaw boss. More than what we saw before. Zumba brains. There they are. This is saw people. Let's see if we can eat him. They die faster than the other zombies, as you see. How you got this? I was like, yep. I can't use the handle. And then I can see them making the zombies. Making my scarecrow. Go after and take him out. I reckon. I'll get you back. You won't back then. Get that away from me. This is gonna hurt. <laughs> Just kicked him. Now here's the tractor that I was talking about early in this video. It's kind of cool. It's one of the cool tracks, but it's kind of it's a bit boxy feeling to it because it is Halo 1, so I can't play it. It's like a very, it's not flexible sort of tractor, it's very, it feels like I'm driving a box more than a thing here. Yeah, and there's <laughs> the skewering part, they have the Pitchforks is on the end of the tractor. You can pitchfork people. See, I get, it's getting stuck. I wasn't actually driving there. Decided to, I'm gonna drive into that wall. It's like, ah. Uh. There's another pitchfork. I think. One drops off always, as I remember. They won't let you pitch for loads of people, I know. Gets very stocky. <laughs> but it is very fun to drive. When you first see this, you're like, oh, that's so cool. You just wish the whole campaign had lots of cars and vehicles. That's one thing that's different from this, from Halo and stuff like that. Is that it has all the vehicle options, like, yeah, you drive it, you don't get the choice to drive it. You don't get levels, to, you don't get the choice to go, oh yeah, I want to do stuff. It's more, you're forced to do certain things. Like, 
you're forced to use this because otherwise you're practically dead, you know. And that's extremely slow. But, but yeah. Like, in Halo, because this is built off the Halo engine, you jump into multiple vehicles. This one's just one of one vehicle, and that's it. Which makes the fun, like, not last as long as what you want it to last. But yeah, it's, it's still pretty good for what it's made, I reckon. And I do like how they smash those doors, that's really cool. And then now I'm thinking how would I attempt this, and I'm going to throw a hand at the tree. Just shoot him. Yeah, I'm like killing people from very far distance, because this gun is like a sniper rifle. Driving vehicle means I can drive something up there soon. I'm like destroying everyone without some troubles. Oh, I hit him at least. Awesome. Now I just need a zombie horde to help me fight. And I think I go the long way. Yeah. I'm going the long way to go around behind them. It would be much easier than what I'm doing before. It would have been cool if I could have like a mini like, I don't know, a tractor car or something. Just drive around. There's so much space just going to waste. I might as well just have it all condensed. Or like if I could crawl through ditches. And there's like levels that um... Like I'm just saying stuff that I can make this game even more better than it is. Like if there's like places where I had to like crawl and stay cover and not be seen. And like get into the... Get into the place without... Yeah. Now I'm shooting people. But yeah, like, it would be cool if there'll be like a level that you you like play and in this level you have to like hide or you have to get in and like just do some espionage. And you had to like get in or something for like a certain person. That'll just be pretty cool, I reckon. This game's sort of straightforward and linear. It's like you just it just needs that extra flavor. Like, oh my god, I could do this too. That's so amazing. But it is the Halo One engine, and it's pretty damn good for just the Halo One engine. Because the Halo One engine, I think that's the same guy who killed my last guy. So I'm gonna go kill him now. Yeah, the same dude that killed my last minion. Is it? It'll just be like, yeah, it's gonna be awesome. So once I clear out these guys, which will be in 20 seconds time, I'm gonna call it an episode for episode 12. Here we go. So thanks for watching, guys, and. I'll see you in the next episode. Hit subscribe if you want to. Comment in the section below. Thanks, guys.